Hello and welcome to the ASLCAM tutorial. In this video I will show you how to use the program. Let's first have a look on the tool list in the upper right corner of the window. It manages the tools we are going to use. To create a new tool just click an empty line. In the first column you can assign a tool number. However, this is only necessary if your CNC controller requires it. Second column is the tool name. You can choose any name you like. Next is tool diameter. I am using millimeter values here, but you can change units to inch in the setup tab. By the way, you can also enter fractions instead of decimal numbers. In feed or depths per pass. Any cut deeper than this will be split up to several passes. So for example, if infeed is 2mm and you use this tool to mill something 10mm deep, then Astrocam will do this in 5 passes, each 2mm deeper than the last. Feed. Feed is the regular milling speed. If millimeters per second is not what you like, you can change this in the setup tab. After this comes another feed. The plunge feed. This value is used whenever the tool cuts deeper into the material. Spindle speed. Of course, this only makes sense if your CNC controller is actually able to control it. Now, let's open a simple drawing. To create a part, click the part button and then click on the part you like to create. The same for holes, click the hole button and then click on the hole in the drawing. Finally, a drill hole. Click the drill button and then click on the center of the hole you like to create. Let's have a closer look on the drill hole. To zoom in, use the mouse wheel. To move the drawing around, keep the right mouse button pressed. The hole on the drawing is just a 3mm hole, but we've used a 6mm tool. To change it, just click the 3mm tool in the tool list. Now it's already time to create our first CNC program. Select menu File, Create NC Program. After selecting a file name, you will be asked how deep you like to cut. Then finally, a preview appears. Now, let's change some object properties. To select an object, click the select button first. Then, click on the object you like to select. If you like to select several objects, keep the shift key pressed. By clicking the 3mm cutter, I choose it for all selected parts. Then I click to Nowhere to deselect everything. Now let's change some cutting depths. For the part and drill hole I choose 10mm. For the left hole 5mm. To remove all material inside a hole click the pocket button. Then let's have a look on the preview again. The next thing I like to show you are tabs. You can create them by clicking the tab button. Then Click where you like to have a tab. Tab length and tab height can be adjusted to your needs. The toolpath is now interrupted where the tabs are. Sometimes drawings are not clear like this one. It can be this, this, this or this. To create the last part we can use the manual mode. Start clicking somewhere along the shape. The program will follow the line until it reaches a branch. All you need to do is to click at the desired branches until the shape is closed. A bit tedious, but sometimes quite useful as pointwise mode. Here you create a shape point by point. You will usually need to zoom quite a lot to see them all. Left clicking adds a single point. Right clicking tries to add all points between the last and the current one to speed things up. You can also switch to manual mode and back if necessary. That's it. I hope you found it useful and try my program.